General authorizations in SAP Business One provide your company the ability to limit a user's access to modules and functions. You can use the authorizations to help establish internal controls and fine tune the system based on a user's job role. To set up authorizations, go to Administration, System Initialization, Authorizations, and then General Authorizations. Along the left side of the authorization window, we have two tabs. Under the Users tab, you will find all the users in the system. The Groups tab contains any authorization type user groups you have created, as well as user groups created as cross all types. To view an existing user's authorizations, click to highlight their username in the list. It is also helpful to adjust the column width so that it is easier to read how the authorizations are assigned. The subject column contains categories of system functionality which generally line up with the main modules menu so that the authorizations you are looking for are easier to find. Expand the subject categories to find the authorization you are looking for. For instance, if you want to manage the user's access to the sales order document, expand the sales AR category. And on the sales order line, you can use the authorization column to manually determine their access. The three options for authorization are full authorization, which allows full access to sales order functionality, no authorization, which blocks user access to the document, and read only, which gives the user the ability to view existing orders, but they cannot add or update them. Note that user authorizations will only give access to menus and functions in the system if the license that is assigned to the user permits that particular functionality. Let's look now at the effective authorization column. This column displays the access the user actually has in the system. This column could be different than the authorization column because their user might be assigned to a user group. If, for instance, the user has been manually assigned no authorization to the sales order, but they are assigned to an authorization user group that grants full authorization to the sales order, the effective authorization would be full authorization because the system will always use the most generous authorization assigned to the user. When you add a new user into the system, by default they won't have any authorization to any of the system functionality except for the ability to change their personal settings. There are two methods for granting the user the access they will need for their job role. The first is to use the copy authorization button. If we know that our new user's system responsibility is similar to another user that is already set up, we can use this functionality to copy over their authorization to the new user. To do this, select the user you want to copy authorizations from, then click the copy authorizations button. Find the new user in the list and select the checkbox next to their name. Click OK and Yes to copy the user authorizations. Now we can see that our new user has the same authorizations as Fred Beyer, and we can then make any specific modifications to the new user manually as needed. Another option is to assign the user to an authorization user group, so that any authorizations assigned to the group will be reflected in the new user's effective authorizations. Down at the bottom right hand of the screen, we have a few additional fields that we can use to control user functionality in the database. Each of the fields are percentage values for determining the maximum discount percentage the user can assign for various documents and records in the system. Sales is for documents in the sales process, purchasing is for the documents in the purchasing process, and general is for the maximum discount that can be added to the business partner, payment terms, inventory transactions like the goods issue, goods receipt, and inventory transfer, and also the special prices for business partners. With 100% entered, Fred Beyer can fully discount items on all the mentioned documents and records. There is also a checkbox that allows you to determine the maximum cash amount the user can enter on the payment means window for incoming payments. Note that if there is ever a time where you want to change all the authorizations for a user or group to a single authorization option, you can choose the buttons at the bottom of the window to do so. It should also be mentioned that if a user is designated as a super user in the system, like our manager Jason Butler, authorizations cannot be changed as super users will always have full access to all functionality in the system. Therefore, it is necessary for a super user to have a professional license assigned to them. Now let's look at an example of what the user will see when they try to access functionality in the system that they are not authorized to use. Let's check out the authorizations for one of our employees, Bill Levine. Under the Sales AR category, we can see that Bill does not have authorization to the sales order in the database. Let's sign in as Bill Levine to see what this looks like from his perspective. 
When we navigate to the sales module, you will notice that the sales order menu option is not available. If Bill uses the modules option in the toolbar at the top, he will see the sales order, but will be met with a notification that he is not authorized to use this function. Bill can click the authorized by another user option and have a super user enter their credentials to give him one time access to the sales order. However, if Bill will need this functionality permanently, he will have to be assigned full authorization in the general authorization window. General authorizations are just one way you can establish internal controls and fine tune your company database to meet your specific needs on a user to user basis in SAP Business One. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.